Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Rears and Videos PC Gaming where this week it's GTR 2 FIA GT Racing Game. Yay! Racing Sims are back! And uh, now, this is very this game is very interesting because there were a lot of good people there were a lot of people saying how good this game is for its single player experience. And uh, so I just thought I'd download it, give this game a go, and I have been having a lot of fun with it ever since. I'm still get I'm still getting used to the uh, handling that the game has. Now, two things I like to point out before I start a race. I got a new headset, everyone, as I promised in the um, in my Vector Thrust video that I'm that I'm looking to get a new headset because the other one I had was absolutely rubbish. But now I got another headset, a more better one, a more proper gaming headset. And I've tested my headset, the new one, in a video, and um, and I've been and I was able to hear my voice a lot more clearer now than I did with the uh, previous headset. And uh, another thing, anything familiar about the uh, song there in the background? Anything? Anything familiar whatsoever? Well, for the uh, let's see, when we get to the uh, famous part of it, it's the same one from Project Cars. That's right, it's the same song that originally came from GTR 2, or the song that came from GTR 2 is on Project Cars, and the same song that we're listening to from Project Cars originally came from GTR 2, as I have just, and, I've, and I didn't even know the song we're listening to right now originally came from GTR 2 until I did some research, and, uh, and, and I was really surprised to he hear this. But it was good to see that that Project Cars, um, it's well, well, no, sorry, correction. It's good to see that it's also used in um, Project Cars as well as um, GTR 2. Anyway, enough talking now. Let's start a race. So we're going to do four laps around Donington Park. It's going to be um, a GT race because that's what GTR 2 is about. It's about GT cars. Although you can get mods for this um, for this game, just like in um, just like in the likes of uh, R Factor, Saddle Corsa. And all the, yeah, as as just like in R Factor and Stellar Course, you can also get mods for this game as well. Anyway, let's start. So we have a cinematic intro here. Mm. Graphics are a bit out of date, but hey, I'd be I'd be only underestimating the sim if I was um, if I said that. There's nine of us. There's there'll be, there's nine cars on the grid, and I'm standing in seventh place. Well, not standing, starting, but you know what I mean anyway. So, here we are, on the grid, in Donington. We have three lights, and it's go time here in, here in Donington. Slow start on the line there, but I'm um, still holding on to a paved place. So now, gently on the brakes, because this game is very sensitive. If you're not careful with the accelerator on the brakes, this game can bite, just like Project Cars does. Lift off here, and now we're just holding off. Oh my god, the understeer. Oh no, that's not going well at all. That's not going well at all. Hold on, let me just restart that. Alright, so so what happened was I, I sort of went off wide, and I, and I went off into the grass, but you kind of saw what happened yourself there. As we leave the grid now here in Donington Park, once again, slow start the line. But, it's, but I'm still holding on to 8th um, place as we go towards the first corner now. Here we go, on the power again. The, the bike right there is, is chasing me down as we head towards the right-hander. He's on the brakes. There we go. Now, this is where I made a mistake last time. But no, not this time. We got a good run out of that corner away from the uh, Viper. And the Viper is still chasing us down here as we approach this next right-hander here. Oh my god. Oh, a little bit of understeer. I'm still fending off the Viper. No, get back in the driver's seat. Get back in. There we go. So it's more realistic. Running in 8th place at the moment. Ahead of the uh, Viper. Brake just at the right time, not too much braking, because I don't want to lock the brakes. There we are, now we're keeping it much more smooth and tidy now through the 
on, on this lap than we were last time now. Now we're just going to steady. Because the handling in, in this game is quite vicious indeed. You make one run move, as in, and, and, and the game can buy easily. But GTR2 can buy easily. Plus the, um, the throttles and the um, brakes um, can be quite sensitive. But other than that, though, GTR2 is great. Does take the handling though, though, does take a little while for 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 you to get used to. But once you do get used to it, though, GTR2 can be a lot of fun. We're pulling away from the Viper now as we as we head up towards the uh, hairpins here. Off the power a bit. There we go. There we are, much more smooth and tidy than we were on the first on the first race. I'm just literally taking my time because I don't want to do anything stupid now. But anyway, here we are. Oh, careful! Lots of oversteer and that right-hander. But we're still holding on to um, eighth place, and the Viper there down there is still chasing me. Easy through. The others have gone on ahead, and I'm just fending off the Viper right behind me. Still chasing me down, he is. There we go. The Viper is still. He still won't give up that easily. Not much action going on in this race so far, but I've gone a bit wide. Please don't take me, Viper. No, nope, he's still he's still waiting there right patiently right behind me. Just to see 7.7 seconds is the gap now between me and the next car. So there's no hope of trying to catch the other car ahead of me. All I can do is just fend off the Viper right behind me. Oh he he, he did have a look around the outside, but no, he, he cuts back into the racing line. Oh, the Viper got a good run out of the right-hander there. But I'm still holding on to 8th place. And the Viper there is getting very close indeed. Will he try to make a reckless move up the inside? No, because I got... No, because I did shut the... Because I managed to shut the door on him easily there. Now we're getting away from the Viper again. 11.5 seconds is the gap now between me and the next car. So, we're definitely not going to catch them. All we can do is just fend the Viper off until until the final lap. Well, until the, well, until the race finishes. Oh, here comes the Viper. He's looking. He's going to try and go to the outside. Oh, contact! Contact! He goes to the inside. And I defend him on the outside. But the Viper finally gets me. He finally gets me. The Viper, after all the patience of, of waiting to overtake me. The Viper finally takes me, but I'm gonna try and try and go at him. I'm gonna go around the outside. No, can't do that. But now the Viper gets away from me. Oh, careful! Don't contact. More contact as we go around the final lap. It's a last lap duel between me and the Viper. Can I beat him before the? Before the end of the finish line. No, he's pulling away from me now, but I am not giving up that easily. No way am I giving up that easily. No! Oh! Lots of oversteer there at the right-hander. No, there's no way we're going to catch this Viper in time. Looks like we're going to have to sell for last place. But now I've run him wide and I've cut the corner. The main has given me a warning for cutting the track in between the rear lanes. Sorry, engineer. That was that was my that was my fault. I sort of hit the brakes too late, trying desperately trying to catch the Viper. But no, 
There's no way I'm going to catch the Viper in time. No way am I going to catch the Viper. So it looks like I'm going to have to sell for last place, unfortunately. It's a, it, it, which is a shame. It's an absolute shame. Oh, I love the engine noise coming out of that BMW. Well, there's a quite a lot of disappointed faces in the garage. But anyway, I'm going to go start the next race. So uh, just give me a moment, please. So here we are on the grid in Magni Course. There's nine of us. That was me and the uh, Lamborghini back there. there. There's three Vipers. Well, no, there's four Vipers and one Corvette. Two of those sports cars in which I don't know the make and model of. And there's one Maserati and there's one Lamborghini that I am in. So, here I am on the grid. We have six lights. We have nine lights. It's go time here in... Here in Magni Course. We get a much more better start than back in Dillington Park. As we go down the inside of the black sports car. Alongside the uh, Viper. Not the Viper, the Maserati. With the black sports car there going to the inside. But no, I'm still hanging on. To the um, to second place, and now we're chasing down the, uh, the the Maserati there just ahead as I go into sixth gear there. Go down the inside, can't take first place. Oh, tight squeeze to the to the hairpin, but it should be enough to put the pressure on the uh, Maserati as I am just chasing him down now. Coming for chicane, lift off here. Lift off at the chicanes. Down the inside. Oh, what a what a move down the inside. Can I hang on to it? Yes, I can. I'm just taking first place on the Maserati. Now, don't mess this up now, Briarton. Hang on to first place until the end of the race. You can do this. Come on. Don't make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. Just take your time. Take your time. Easier on the corners. Don't make a mistake. There's only four laps in this race. Make every apex and make every brake marker. Every brake. Just remember all those braking points. Every single one of them. Into second gear. Easy on the power. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Careful. Don't get back on the power too early as, as the gap is just six hundredths of a second. As I got a new fastest lap in, which is great, which is great. Now the Maserati goes down to the inside! And now I'm trying and I'm trying to make the cut back on him! Can he hang on to it? No, but it's wheel to wheel down to the hairpin! Who's gonna be the fastest on the back straight? Or not the back straight, the front straight! Who's gonna be the fastest? Who's gonna be the fastest? Who's gonna break the lasers and survive? Down the inside! It's going to be me! What a show we're putting on here in Magni Coors! And here I am in first place. Right, right, hang on to this race here now. Hang on to first place. Lift on here at the, at the hairpin. The, the master rider is looking very dangerous indeed as we come towards this right hand, this left hander here. Back on the power again. I thought R Factor's AI was brutal. But GTR, GTR 2's AI is even more brutal. Not even a, I thought in my opinion, I think GTR 2 is the best AI out of all out of all the racing sims. I think GTR 2 has the best AI of any racing sim. I know R Factor's AI is pretty good. I know a lot of the past three racing sims AI is good when you but they have their weaknesses here. But I have not seen any weakness from the from GTR 2's AI so far. As we're coming around the um, the final two, the final three corners to begin the penultimate lap. As I'm pulling away on the uh, front straight, and I put in a new fastest lap. Man, I am really putting in those fastest laps. Oh, contact the Maserati! Look at how to sniff up there, uh, up my rear wing. But no, he. But no, I'm still hanging on the first place, and he ends up with an ugly bumper after that hit from from him.
the Maserati there nearly collided with me. And it's a four car battle in first place. We have a Viper, we have a Maserati, the black sports car, and a Viper there right behind me. Oh look at the oh look at the grab first place off me. Lift up here, lift up here at the chicanes. Easy on the brakes. There we go. Easy, easy, there we go. Back on the power again there. We there we go. Now we got the hang of this now. We're getting used to GTR 2's handling guys. We're getting used to GTR 2 handling. Oh the Maserati got some good exit speed out that out the out that the um out of the S's there. Couldn't think of what I was gonna say that time when the uh, Maserati was going through the uh, S's. Go defensive to the inside. Hang on to Oh the Maserati's getting very close indeed. It's gonna be a race to the flag here if we go on to the final lap. Here we go, final lap. It's looking like a race to the flag here, viewers. I haven't put in a new fast lap, but I've cut the corner! I've cut the corner! And that and just because of that, and because of that, the Maserati's taking first place off me. But can I catch him back here the first straight? Well not the first straight, the front straight. But can I take him at the at the hairpin? Can I get somewhere as close as I can, but I won't get go I won't get very close to him if I go on to the grass. Can I get somewhere close to I did? I can't! Up down the inside and Jake gets it back! But the Aston Martin is going to try and make it over under, under there! It's going to be a race to the, to the flag here! Now I'm going to try and take one of the asses and it is his great genius stuff here! What, a, what respect me and him have! But I'm taking it back to the inside! This is unpredictable stuff here and here in Magni Cars! And the Black Sports Car is looking to buy his way in but no! Things have settled down now in the final lap. I come up towards the S's now. Don't lose it now, British, and don't lose it now. This race is too exciting to the finish. It's too exciting to calm down from. I am literally sweating. My hands are sweating on the wheel. I have to come up towards the final three corners. But I'm pulling away from the, from the Maserati. There's no hope to come back for him now. And after the disappointment I had, after the bad look I've had at Dyson Park, I have come down, or I have, or I have came out to redeem myself, and I am going to win an intense victory here at Magni Cars! Woohoo! Well, I was expecting more enthusiasm from you, engineer. Jeez, Johnny has got more enthusiasm than you do. Get Johnny over here. I want him to be my engineer in GTR 2. Oh, my God. My God. Congratulations, I finished in first place. Thank you. Thank you, game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, that race was too close. Hang on, just, just let me calm down. Let me calm down. And then we'll go start one more race. And then we'll finish it off there. So, we've calmed down from, well, I've calmed down from that race in Magni Cores. And, uh, there I am in the, uh, Maserati to your right. And, uh, with a Celine starting right behind me. And there's a Viper right behind me with a Lamborghini, a Corvette, and two other Vipers, as well as a Nova Celine. Anyway. Enough blabbering now. Let's get this race started. So here I am, on the grid, here in Spa. We got six lights, put in the first. And, and away we go here in Circuit Spa, Franco Champs. Celine takes me, but I'm gonna try to take him back here on El Rouge. Can I do that? Yes, I can, just about. And now we're, and now we're right behind a Viper here. So we're looking very dangerous on indeed. We, we got some good slipstream behind him. We're doing 170 miles an hour. Break! Oh no, I've hit the back of the Viper! I've hit the back of the Viper, but, but it was good enough for me to take fourth place. Now he's gonna lose a lot of downforce after that hit because he's lost his rear wing. So he's gonna lose a little bit of downforce. But, uh, but yeah, despite that little bit of a reckless pass there, I still managed to take fourth place. 
right behind another Viper. Don't oversteer, Brierson. Don't oversteer. And now as Celine has passed the um, the Viper who's, who lost his um, rear, rear wing there. But we're now closing in on another Viper. Well, no, actually, the other Viper is pulling away. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'd be able to catch him. Into third gear now. A key overtaking opportunity here, but no. No, there's no way. There's not a chance in hell that I'd be able to catch the Viper from that far back. We're into fourth gear now. Can I, can I take the Viper before we get to the full stop chicane? I don't know if I can, but let's see. Can I at least get a run off the Viper here at this left-hander here? Lift off the power a bit. And now here we are right behind a Viper. Down the inside of the Viper. Is it good enough? Go defensive. Is it good enough though? Yes, it is. Great pass there on the um, bus stop chicane there. And now we're coming out to the uh, start finish line, the one I'm used to starting from up to what, what is usually the first corner when, when we're starting at that start finish line anyway. And now we're coming back onto the uh, main start finish line, the one we're starting at, the one we, we started the race from. Up to El Rouge, the frame rate had a bit of a moment, but, uh, but the frame rate recovered quickly. After all, this is GTR2 doesn't require doesn't ask for much and much of the uh, system requirements, so don't expect the uh, frame rate to drop too much when we're when, when I'm recording with fraps. The Viper right behind me is going to try and make a move, but no, he plays it smart. He's still putting as much pressure as he can on me, and here I am trying to resist the pressure he's putting on me as I pull away from him there, which is good stuff for me. third gear now we're coming back now, we're, now we, we were in second now we're down third the other car is now 5.2 seconds ahead of me so there's not a chance in hell that I'd be able to catch him unless he makes a mistake the Viper there is looking to the inside he gets a good run for me I didn't, I didn't even see him coming there the Viper passing me on the inside I didn't even see him coming so it looks like we have a race to the flag between me and him no we're not I'm going to be in the gravel trap I'm going to lose a couple of places for the, from this. And now there's another Viper. It's the other Viper's teammate is right by, just past me there. We're down to sixth place. I've only lost about three places there. But we're, we're still okay. And now we're in a Viper sandwich here. Now I'm being under attack by Vipers here in this video. There's been nothing, I've been talking about nothing but Vipers so far in GTR2. The other Viper there is looking to try and make a move down the inside. The other Viper starting to pull away, but let's see if I can catch him before we get to the... Um, trying to hit the clutch a bit there. Doing everything I can to um, catch the other Viper. Now we're on to the uh, start finish line, the one I'm used to starting from down into the, what, 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 is, what is the first corner now, or, the, or, what I, or from what I'm used to going out is the first corner. Now we're coming on to the uh, start finish line to begin the final lap. Let's see, can I hang on to um, sixth place for one more lap and at least bring home some points here. We're doing about 100, we're just doing just under 170 miles an hour. Down to the S's. Is it me or are we catching the Viper? I'm not sure, the gap looks like it's, re we're, it looks like we're reducing the gap now. The Viper could have made a mistake. Has the Viper got a problem? Has the Viper got a mechanical issue? Because we're closing in on him right now. Looks, 
Oh, the, the other Viper hits me and now he takes me in the same place that the other Viper did. And now the three guard bump that the other Viper goes wide. And I'm going to try to take him here. Can I break lay here? Two car pass. No. No, but I managed to retake the other Viper. And now it's going to be a race to the flag. Can I take this Viper here? Can I? Dive down the inside. Lots of oversteer, but no. The other Viper still defends. It's definitely going to be a race to the finish line here. Here in Circuit of Spark Cranker Champs. But now we have at least two more chances of trying to take him. That's the full stop chicane in the final corner. The other Viper's pulling away. I'm going to have to try and break late to try and take the Viper. Got a bit wider in the runoff area, but still hanging on to first. Not first place, sixth place, but you know what I mean anyway. Reckless dive down the inside, but no. No, we're still, but no, we've closed on the Viper. We have one more chance now to try and take the Viper. One more chance, he's at the final corner. Can I do that? The checkered flag is falling. It's going to be close. Oh, Viper corner pass, can I do that? Yes, I can. I'm taking him in the final corner. And I'm going to win, and I'm going to take on fifth place. What a race this has been. Once again, another fantastic race here at Circuit Spa Franco Champs. Oh my god. We finished fifth place. We started in fifth and we finished fifth. We only took the Viper there on the last quarter. We were just lucky there that time. But anyway, that is GTR2 FIA GT racing game. Best AI I've seen in a good while in GTR2. But in terms of the um, handling uh, but in terms of handling, I would say um, R Factor's um, handling has got is better is more better handling in just in just my um, honest opinion. But in terms of AI, I'm giving it to GTR2. Best AI I've seen in quite a while. But anyway, thank you for watching this video on GTR2. And uh, I don't know um, if if you were able to hear me in the uh, last two videos. But uh, what do you think? Is did, how, how did my new headset perform? Is it good? Should I use it for more videos? If so, let me know in the uh, comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.